plate tectonics. It was in 1967 Mackenzie and Parker and also Morgan independently collected the available ideas and came out with another concept termed plate tectonics. A tectonic plate, also called lithosphere plate, is a massive irregularly shaped slab of solid rock generally composed of both continental and oceanic lithosphere. Plates move horizontally over the asthenosphere as rigid units. The lithosphere includes the crust and the top mantle with its thickness range varying between 5 to 100 km in oceanic parts and about 200 km in the continental areas. A plate may be referred to as the continental plate or the oceanic plate depending on which of the two occupy a larger portion of the plate. Pacific plate is largely an oceanic plate whereas the Eurasian plate may be called a continental plate. The theory of plate tectonics proposes that the earth's lithosphere is divided into seven major and some minor plates. Young fold mountain ridges, trenches and or or faults surround these major plates. The major plates are as follows: Antarctica and the surrounding oceanic plate, North American with Western Atlantic floor separated from the South American plate along the Caribbean islands plate, South American with Western Atlantic floor separated from North American plate along the Caribbean islands plate, Pacific plate, India Australia New Zealand plate. Africa with eastern atlantic floor plate Eurasia and the adjacent oceanic plate Some important minor plates are listed below Cocos plate between Central America and Pacific plate Nazca plate between South America and Pacific plate Arabian plate mostly the Saudi Arabian landmass Philippine plate between the Asiatic and Pacific plate Caroline plate between the Philippine and Indian plate north of New Guinea Fuji plate northeast of Australia How the plate tectonics discovery disproved continental drift theory. These plates have been constantly moving over the globe throughout the history of the earth. It is not the continent that moves as believed by Wegener. Continents are part of a plate and what moves is the plate. Moreover, it may be noted that all the plates without exception have moved in the geological past and shall continue to move in the future as well. Wegener had thought of all the continents to have initially existed as the supercontinent in the form of Pangaea. However, later discoveries reveal that the continental masses resting on the plates have been wandering all through the geological period and the Pangaea was a result of converging of different continental masses that were parts of one or the other plates. Scientists using the paleomagnetic data have determined the positions held by each of the present continental landmasses in different geological periods. Position of the Indian subcontinent, mostly peninsular India, is traced with the help of the rocks analyzed from the Nagpur area. Divergent boundaries. The new crust is generated as the plate pull away from each other. The sites where the plates move away from each other are called spreading sites. The best known example of divergent boundaries is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. At this, the American plates are separated from the Eurasian and African plates. Convergent boundaries, where the crust is destroyed as one plate dived under another. 
The location where sinking of the plate occurs is called subduction zone. There are three ways in which convergence can occur. These are between an oceanic and continental plate, between two oceanic plates and between two continental plates. Transform boundaries where the crust is neither produced nor destroyed as the plates slide horizontally past each other. Transform faults are the planes of separation generally perpendicular to the mid-oceanic ridges. As the eruptions do not take all along the entire crest, at the same time there is a differential movement of a portion of the plate away from the axis of the earth. Also, the rotation of the earth has its effect on the separated blocks of the plate portions. How do you think the rate of plate movement is determined? The strips of normal and reverse magnetic field that parallel the mid-oceanic ridges help scientists determine the rates of plate movement. These rates vary considerably. The Arctic ridge has the slowest rate, less than 2.5 cm per year, and the East Pacific rise near Easter Island in the South Pacific about 3,400 km west of Shile has the fastest rate more than 15 cm per year. Where comes the force for movement of plates? The fact that the plates move is now a well accepted fact. The mobile rock beneath the ridge plates is believed to be moving in a circular manner. The heated material rises to the surface, spreads and begins to cool and then sinks back into deeper depths. This cycle is repeated over and over to generate what scientists call a convection cell or convective flow. Heat within the earth comes from two main sources, radioactive decay and residual heat. The slow movement of hot, softened mantle that lies below the rigid plates is the driving force behind the plate movement. Movement of Indian Plate The Indian Plate includes Peninsular India and the Australian continental portions. The subduction zone along the Himalayas form the northern plate boundaries in the form of continent convergence. In the east, it extends through Rakinyoma Mountains of Myanmar towards the island arc along the Java Trench. The eastern margin is a spreading site lying to the east of Australia in the form of Oceanic Ridge in SW Pacific. The western margin follows Kirthar mountain of Pakistan. It further extends along the Makrana coast and joins the spreading site from the Red Sea Drift southeastward along the Kagos archipelago. The boundaries between India and Antarctic plate is also marked by oceanic ridge, divergent boundary running in roughly WE direction and merging into the spreading site a little south of New Zealand. India was a large island situated off the Australian coast in a vast ocean. The Tethi Sea separated it from the Asian continent till about 225 million years ago. India is supposed to have started her northward journey about 200 million years ago at the time when Pangaea broke. India collided with Asia about 40 to 50 million years ago, causing rapid uplift of the Himalayas. It was also shown the position of the Indian subcontinent at the Eurasian plate. About 140 million years before the present, the subcontinent was located as south as 50 degrees south latitude. The two major plates were separated by the Tethi Sea and the Tibetan block was closer to the Asiatic landmass. During the movement of the Indian plate towards the Asiatic plate, a major event that occurred was the outpouring of lava and formation of the Deccan traps. This started somewhere around 60 million years ago and continued for a long period of time. Note that the subcontinent was still close to the equator. 
40 million years ago and thereafter the event of formation of the Himalayans took place. Scientists believe that the process is still continuing and the height of the Himalayas is rising even to this date.